Finale breaks down what we have learned about the charges. Yeah, Micah and Ray, the nearly 50-page charging document was released today, one day after former President Donald Trump was indicted by a grand jury on 37 felony charges. Trump is accused of storing and showing off classified documents. He allegedly ignored requests from the Justice Department to return. You know, you think about the history of the country, and it's, it's really a watershed moment. For the first time in United States history, a former president faces federal charges. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. Voted on by a grand jury of citizens in the Southern District of Florida, Trump was indicted on 37 felony charges, including 31 counts of violations of the Espionage Act. As well as participating in a conspiracy to obstruct justice. The indictment accuses Trump of having removed scores of boxes, with many containing classified information he wasn't authorized to retain or possess. He allegedly stored those boxes at his estate in Mar-a-Lago in spots like a ballroom, his office, a bedroom, a storage room, and even in a bathroom and shower. And I invite everyone to read it in full, to understand the scope and the gravity of the crimes charged. Bill Muck, a political professor with North Central College, says it can't be assumed that the documents didn't get into the wrong hands. And you have thousands of people coming through this facility, so I don't think we can assume uh, that they weren't necessarily accessed. According to the indictment, some of the top secret and classified records contained information related to defense and weapons capabilities of the U.S. and former countries, as well as U.S. nuclear programs and potential vulnerabilities of the U.S. and its allies to military attack. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical to the safety and security of the United States, and they must be enforced. Violations of those laws put our country at risk. Trump is accused of showing and describing a, quote, plan of attack he says was highly confidential and secret during audio recorded meeting with a writer, a publisher, and two members of his staff months after he left office. None of them had security clearance. Muck says the allegations highlight a national security issue. There's a reason that we have security clearance. There's a reason that we vet individuals who get access to that information and how we store that information. Friday afternoon on social media site Truth Social, President Trump writing, quote, I supplied them openly and without question. Security tape from Mar-a-Lago. I had nothing to hide, nor do I now. He claims no one told him he wasn't allowed to look at the, quote, personal records he brought from the White House. They have investigated this case hewing to the highest ethical standards, and they will continue to do so as this case proceeds. Trump's personal aide, Walt Nada, also named in the federal indictment, accused of making a false statement that he did not know how the boxes were kept and moved. He was reportedly seen on surveillance video helping a maintenance worker move those boxes before the FBI executed a search warrant. My office will seek a speedy trial in this matter, consistent with the public interest and the rights of the accused. U.S. District Judge Eileen Cannon has been assigned to oversee the case. Cannon is a former federal prosecutor who was nominated to the bench in 2020 by Trump. She has faced criticism by legal experts who say her series of rulings in the earlier stages of the investigation seem to be favorable to Trump. Trump is expected to appear in federal court in Miami this Tuesday. Mike Emery. All right, more to say on all this in a bit. Thank you, Courtney.